Hi again, I'm Ryan, your host for The Toast, and we're going to be talking about Angry Birds. Oh! Alright, so at this point we've all played Angry Birds at some point in our lives. And making a movie adaption of basically knocking pins over with a ball is just... redundant? Anyway, they've done it, and they've tried to give it a story which goes it's an island of happy birds, and they segregate the angry ones, and they're made an outcast. It's like the episode of The Twilight Zone with the creepy kid that made everyone be happy all the time except this time with birds. So we're gonna follow Red, voiced by Jason Sudeikis. Uh, he's pretty much the original Angry Bird. He's the one with the temper on the island, and for good reason. I mean, I sympathize with characters that are surrounded by morons, and that's what makes them angry. So Red gets sent to anger management in a bird village, and while he's there, he meets the other titular birds from the game, like the yellow one Chuck, voiced by Josh Gad, and Bomb, who's uh, voiced by Danny McBride. Cast-wise, this movie actually has a lot of high-name voice talent. Sean Penn, Peter Dinklage, Kate McKinnon, hell, even Keegan-Michael Key is in it. I guess if you're a name like Angry Birds, that everyone knows it, you can get some good voice actors. We also have Bill Hader as King Leonard. Now, Bill Hader is like a veteran voice actor by now. I mean, he's done pretty much every animated movie that I can think of. But this time, he's a pig. The screen. And obviously the villain. I still hate it when movies are populated with characters that cannot see that a villain is a villain. Even though it's a kid's movie, they should be able to tell that the pig is a bad guy. Anyway, they don't listen to reason, they don't listen to Red, and the pigs steal their eggs, and angry birds have to get them back. They have to get angry. Because in this movie, we teach kids that anger and an explosive temper is the answer. It can be. It's worked out for me so far. Now the characters in this film, of course, they're birds, they're nice and colourful, and of course, like every animated kids film, they all have a specific character trait that they portray. For the most part, they're completely fine, but I, I just gotta say, I hate the mime. I mean, everyone hates mimes in general, but this one is just pointless and horrible. It's an attempt for a repeat funny character with a, kind of a catchphrase, and it just does not work. And I hate it, and I want it to go away now. Now. Go. Go away! Yeah. Now I can forgive the birds being simple because the, the pigs are obviously the technologically advanced race in this world. Even though everything they make is cobbled together shoddy crap and mostly made of toilet plungers, I started having all these outlandish theories like in the future when the human race was extinct, the pigs only had this junk that humans left over to, to build their civilization with. But then I quickly realized that in the game they have this random assortment of crap and they just we're being true to the game, put it in the movie. Like I said, the birds are much simpler, they're much more natural and carefree. They also cannot fly, and they talk about it in the movie, like, huh, if birds could fly, but I guess if they could fly, why would they need a slingshot? So, so yeah, I mean, uh, but I gotta say, the movie emulates the game quite well. I mean, with such a limited source material to extrapolate on, it actually kind of impressed me how much they got out of this premise. That being said, the runtime is mostly padded with bird puns and slapstick humor. Granted, it is a kid's movie, with the odd adult jokes sprinkled in for the parents in the audience. Animated movies are really getting good at sneaking in adult humor. I mean, I guess they always have, but they're, they're kind of really trying to do it now. Honestly, the funniest moment in this movie for me was really early on in the film. There was this little bird kicking a football against Red's house, and Red comes out, and this little bird's looking at him, and he goes up, and you think he's going to kick the football, but no, he kicks the bird, and he goes flying into the ocean. I thought that was hilarious. It's one of those character-defining moments where you don't need to know a thing about Red, but when you see him do that, you're like, okay, we're on the same page. Long story short, you have to wait till the end of the film to actually have angry birds action. But when it does happen, it does a good job of feeling like the game. I do love it when movies hit you with a moment of true source material. Kind of like the ending of Tron, or, or in Civil War, where Cap and Tony have the shield and the blasters up together and it's just like the book. Moment of true source material. And when the birds do finally get slingshotted around, I love the way that they tuck up into little balls and then use their abilities just like in the game. Unfortunately, the movie leading up to that scene is pretty much a waste of time. It, it feels like this movie would have been spent better as like a half an hour short. That's why I can't give this movie any higher than a beans on toast. You just peck off like a bird the beans you like and leave the rest. As a kid's movie, it works perfectly fine, but even in the beginning, I still think that it's a little dull for a kid's movie. It, there's a lot of build up and not too much action to keep a kid entertained. Animation-wise, this movie is perfectly serviceable. I mean, you can't go wrong nowadays. Animation is so easy, especially when you're a big studio with a big name. Especially water. Water always impresses me now. It's just so real when you see a CG movie with water. I do still always have the problem of why the hell do birds have teeth, and they only have teeth when they're hurt. Like, and they go like, <laughs> and they fall out. Birds having teeth are very selective in animation. But you know what? This movie is not complex. So just like the game is not complex, so it's easy to watch. You know what else is easy to watch? This guy. So if you want to see more from me, click, click, click away, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers! There's a joke early on in this film. Well, it's not really a joke, but anyway, it's about gluten. Now, I'm kind of sick of gluten being picked on as an easy, funny bit of dialogue to slip into a film. And as someone who suffers from a gluten allergy, I don't really want to be reminded when watching a movie of how I cannot eat cake. Oh.